three. Stage one is transonic. Stage one landing weird startup. Stage one landing leg deploy. Falcon 9 has landed. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy rocket. At T minus 14 seconds, the Rofis, which look like sparklers, ignite to burn off excess hydrogen injected into the flame duct. Rofi ignition is followed by ignition of the starboard Delta IV RS 68A engine at T minus 7 seconds. Two seconds later, the center and port RS 68A engines ignite generating more than 2.1 million pounds of total thrust to lift the rocket off the pad. This staggered engine start mitigates the fireball created by the hydrogen-burning Delta IV Heavy. Shortly after liftoff, Delta IV begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 1 minute 18 seconds. Two seconds later, rocket experiences maximum dynamic pressure as it travels through Earth's atmosphere. At 3 minutes 56 seconds, the port and starboard booster engines shut down. Two seconds later, the port and starboard boosters are jettisoned. The center booster engine then throttles to full power to maximize performance. Approaching main engine cutoff, Delta IV is traveling at more than 24,753 kilometers, or 15,381 miles per hour, is located 111 kilometers or 69 miles in altitude and is 586 kilometers or 364 miles downrange. At 5 minutes 36 seconds, for pilot levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. Seven seconds later, the Delta IV separation system activates to release the first stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff. At 5 minutes 56 seconds, the Delta cryogenic second stage main engine burn begins. During ascent, NROL-44 is protected inside a 5 meter diameter tri-sector payload fairing. At approximately 6 minutes 38 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. Delta IV continues its national security mission following payload fairing jettison. Three. Two. One, main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and four solid rocket boosters ignite to generate more than 10.2 million newtons, or 2.3 million pounds of thrust, to lift the rocket on its way towards a hyperbolic escape trajectory. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 35 seconds. Following burnout, the four SRBs are jettisoned at 1 minute 49 seconds. In the next two and a half minutes of first stage flight, the Atlas V will more than triple its velocity. Three minutes, 27 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. At four minutes, 22 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. The Atlas V is now traveling at more than 21,680 kilometers, or 13,470 miles per hour, and located nearly 156 kilometers, or 97 miles in altitude, and 497 kilometers, or 309 miles downrange. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff. Ten seconds later, the first burn of the Centaur main engine begins. Burning liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, the Centaur is attaining orbital velocity. At approximately 11 and a half minutes into flight, cutoff of the Centaur main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters a 30-minute coast phase in preparation for the Earth escape burn. The Centaur main engine is restarted at 45 minutes. This burn provides the required thrust for Centaur to escape Earth orbit. Approximately eight minutes later, 
final cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs, this completes powered flight. Centaur will coast for nearly five minutes in preparation for spacecraft separation. At about 57 and a half minutes, Centaur releases the spacecraft into a hyperbolic orbit, traveling at more than 41,000 kilometers or nearly 26,000 miles per hour on a seven-month cruise to Mars, where it will seek signs of ancient life on the red planet and collect rock and soil samples for possible return to Earth. At United Launch Alliance, we understand that reliable access to space is vital to our national security. For decades, missions launched on ULA's Atlas and Delta rockets have protected our troops, provided critical communications capabilities, and informed the intelligence community. Over more than 130 countdowns, we've mastered the technology and proven we have what it takes to put our nation's critical payloads into orbit. Now it's time to go one step further, advancing American superiority in space. ULA is unleashing the energy of American ingenuity with the development of the Vulcan Centaur, a rocket purpose-built to meet all of the requirements of our national security space launch needs. Through partnerships with industry-leading companies, the Vulcan Centaur will deliver higher performance with greater affordability. When it comes to harnessing space for national security, ULA is getting the job done. Building the Vulcan Centaur with state-of-the-art manufacturing technology and creating more capable and flexible launch pads. At ULA, we're building national defense for the next generation.